Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first ever WWE Universe video. Now, uh, I'm making this video. I'm not sure the reaction I'm going to get with this game on my channel. Uh, I'm going to hopefully hope that it's all positive, not negative. And I'm only hoping for positivity out of this. So, guys, this is WWE Universe. I know I am mostly a supercar channel. But this game has been so addictive to me that I feel like I really do want to bring this to the channel. Some, to mix up with the... Because I know a lot of my my subscribers are WWE fans in general. Who play Supercard a lot. Who would probably also love this. It seems like a lot of the Supercard base have jumped ship to this game now as well. Which is good news for me because I've loved this game. I've loved this game so far. Some negatives, but a lot of positives. So I'm going to break it down for you guys what WWE Universe is about. Pretty much... So, as a lot of you are probably wondering why I'm not playing Supercard right now, uh, honestly, the game is just so effing broken. I'm not enjoying Supercard at all. Not even this much. I'm really... I was going to stream yesterday, but unfortunately, the internet-wide, uh, the East Coast thing was really bad, so I couldn't stream at all. However, let's get into the WWE Universe. Now, WWE Universe is a brand new game. It came up about five days ago. It was in beta, so a lot of people have played this for months. But the game officially released worldwide about five, six days ago. I think it was five days ago. And here it is, WWE Universe. Now, what the, let's get into the pros first. The pros, I love the pros. So the pros is you got so much stuff to do. Uh, you guys could pretty much be leveling up, playing story mode. They do have a story mode that will take you a long time to complete. It's not as easy because you do rely on energies. So story mode will take you a while. You guys can do PVPs, fight other people's decks, and then they have to fight you. It's actual back-to-back -back combat. So uh, I'll get into the negative aspect of that in a few. Uh, a, a decent roster. Uh, this is what I've got so far. Pretty pretty sweet. Uh, many legends, SmackDown, Raw. It's pretty good. So awesome. Now there's other modes that you could also do. There's also events. Now this event. Uh, started a few days ago. It's the Sting event. I'm actually almost done with this event. Uh, I'm in tier 7, which is tier 8. You get the guaranteed gold Sting, which is what I'm aiming for. And I'm going to get that damn Sting. Whatever I have to do to get that damn Sting, I'm going to get it. Now, one of the pros that I love is there's unlimited ads in this game so you can get gold. Now, gold is really important in this game because, honestly... You think uh, gold and all you keep doing is buying superstars. Honestly, I don't even touch the superstars. They don't mean nothing to me right now, the superstars. What it means to me the most are these trainers, the gear, and the cash bundle. Those are the three things you're going to need the most in this game. In this game. I'm telling you that right now. Now, you do get daily stuff as well, like th these basic drafts, but... Let's not worry about that. But yeah, those are the main things that you're going to be needing in this game. And without gold, you really can't do anything. But on the bright hand, we do get unlimited ads. You, in this ad, you get four gold. If you don't have enough, you can also do these type of ads that give you ten. And they're unlimited. They go back and forth. So it's pretty freaking awesome that you get unlimited ads. I hope they keep this in the game. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we watch our ads. They get paid. We get the gold. End of the day, everyone wins. Even free players win. Keep this in the game. I hope they don't remove it. If they remove this, uh, it, it could be bad in the long run because then there would no be no other ways to get gold besides dailies and other little things. And you won't get much gold, unfortunately. And you'll just struggle, struggle. You have to play these modes over and over and over again, trying to get like 10, 25, 50 trainers because trainers are not that easy to get. Trainers are a pain in the ass unless you're using gold. So I hope they keep this in the game to make the community happy. Because you still, you need to watch a lot of ads to get. Like, if you do it correctly, you can get maybe 400 gold an hour watching ads. And that's not even a lot. But you are watching a shit ton of ads. So they're getting their money. So I hope they keep that in the game. So the gameplay is very simple. Uh, here's a PvP, for example. Like, I destroyed this guy. Now, you can rematch the same people that you play, and they have no choice but to fight you, which I kind of find I kind of find that a little messed up. However, you can just keep spamming, and then your PvP rewards go up, and you just get a crap load of stuff. Now, the gameplay is pretty simple. You, ha you have a light attack, a medium, and a heavy. Heavies and mediums can be countered by the opponent. 
Uh, of course, it's, it is a bot, but depending on your level range, they can be countered. Now, since my Brock is so OP, there's no way this thing's going to counter. So it would literally take one hit. When you do, when their health is all depleted, you can do your finisher. Or if you hit a couple, I think it's like two heavy hits, you get your signature. Or uh, one, if you hit one heavy, you get your signature. I know that for sure. Two mediums, I think you get your signature. And then you got to hit like two to three heavies again to get your special. So I can't really demonstrate in this video because I killed this thing. But all you need to do is tap in the middle. Now, you guys, some of you guys may think it's easy. Sometimes you get some of the green and then you get good instead of great or perfect. You need great or perfect to get the guarantee they can never reverse it. If you get good, okay, poor, they're going to kill you. There you go. I got great. So there's no chance in hell he was going to reverse that. But it's not as easy as it seems. Like if the opponent is higher than you, then it's going to go way faster. If it's they're lower than you, they're going to go real slow when they do their finisher on you. So, but it's not as easy as it seems. Trust me. When you, when you, when you battle, you realize, damn, what? That's like that, that's one of the cons. Sometimes you feel like you got a lot of the green, and then it was just a good, and then you're like, really, really? That's one con I had. But it's not badly affected as it once was. So I, I'm not gonna. What is the next con? I would say there is a lot of probably APK cheaters using like a, you know, I guess like an APK game where they could just automatically win and get perfect every single time they click or great. It would just always work. So you'll have like my Brock will lose to a 200 one Bronx star or some shit like that. Uh, and then the, when you play the event, you saw people with high ass scores that you really couldn't do unless you had unlimited like, wins and I, i'm sure you're not so yeah that's just a, a negative like i hope they get rid of those guys from the game because it sucks ass but you know eventually i'm sure they'll get rid of them champions banned a lot of those people so i'm sure they'll hopefully do it here too uh one other negative is i didn't get my team event rewards uh i did not get them unfortunately there was a big event uh the main event is a uh, Friday to Sunday. Uh, it's called Club Battle Royal. Now, my team was ranked number one in the world. Those right there should have been my rewards right here. This should have been my rewards. And a lot of my team didn't get anything, unfortunately. So, as it sounds, that sucks. Because look at all that shit I could have gotten. And I didn't get anything. You know, this could have helped me so much. So, so much. And I didn't get nothing out of it. So it sucks that my teammate is ranked number one in the world. Uh, I could prove that they're ranked number one in the world too. Just by showing you guys. Because you know, my team's a bomb. Best team in the world. Uh, here we are. Club. Club events. Let's see. I guess. Did, did they do anything like club events? No. Alright. So that, I'm getting everything mixed up right now. Give me a second guys. So this is uh, Lie, Cheat, and Steal. We are like. The number one club in the world. I finished like eighth in my team, but I didn't get any of my rewards. And uh, our team finished rank one, so I was very disappointed that uh, I didn't get any of the rewards. So I hope that I did hit up their customer service. I hope I get a response to understand like what happened. Uh, but a pro that I would like to announce is they actually have events every single day, different events. Like here you go, club battle. Uh, another club battle. So I guess Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, they're club battle games. And uh, the rank one teams get good stuff out of that. And then, of course, the main event stuff is the ultimate big stuff, which you could get these. So I wish I had that, you know. And uh, club rankings are not available. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, guys. Uh, WWE Champions. So, honestly, once they fix a lot of the issues... I think this game has so much potential. I love every single minute of this game. I'm usually like either playing. I'm, I'm hopefully going to get that sting. I still got seven days to get it. I have enough time. I'm going to probably record a video of me getting that sting if I do get it. But yeah. Uh, and they also do have object, uh, achievements and object, uh, objectives every single day. Pretty simple stuff like watch a video, all that other stuff. So. Uh, story modes, daily events, train a superstar, pretty much daily stuff every single day. So guys, go check check out WWE Universe. 
amazing game once everything is fixed and stuff it would just even get even more amazing so check out w champions guys i'm out see you later peace all right you guys i'm recording a little after even making my debut i'm actually at the end of this so this is gonna be for the tier level so i hope to get this right here right now this is the finale of tier seven or six so you have to defeat John Cena here. I should easily defeat his ass. My Brock is super OP. It should end it really soon. He'll do his special on me. Just click to speed it up because it's a long animation. Really slow animation. <laughs> so it was very easy to dodge. One hit, F5 to end it. Booyah, Cena has been eliminated. So we are now one tier away from getting the gold sting. I can't wait to get it, baby. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. So I complete the story. I do get another silver Xavier Woods. We got two gold sting drafts, which is awesome. But now we are at the Enigmatic Challenge. Tier 8, the finale to get this thing. It's only one challenge, and it costs 22 energies. Yikes. Uh, so it is Sting versus Jeff Hardy in this one. So I'm going to need to train up Sting a little more just to beat out that Jeff Hardy. So I'll be right back with that, guys. Now, before I do the Sting, I'm going to go ahead and go into the store and open up those two Sting drafts. Uh, we could get another Gold Sting in this one. It's a very low chance, but I would love a Gold Xavier Woods. If not, give me uh, another Sting of this or Ember Moon. And let's see, we got another Ember Moon. We get five of her, so that's pretty sweet. Let's open up another one, and we get another five Ember Moon. So she's going to be a three-star eventually. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, guys, what I decided to do is I'm going to take a risk and challenge this Jeff Hardy. We beat him in HP, but he does beat us in damage. Uh, hopefully it's not a big difference like super huge like I can actually still hit my heavies on him so I'm just gonna have to reverse everything he hits on me and pray that it's not a pain in the ass so he has a close matchup hey Chris you counted the first one already I counted his first one too so that's good I get my stinger splash now great can't reverse it we're on a good path here okay so we reverse that again Oh, see, that's what I mean. Like, sometimes you feel like, yo, that was right on target, and it just wasn't. But, you know, it's that's the, that's the way the game is, so you just got to hope and pray. Great again. Now, all right, so I have a huge advantage here. I could still lose this. I'm going to need to reverse his next one, because if he hits me with a finisher, I'm going to be near low health. This is his finisher. Again, it's good. Gotta spam it really, really quick. Mm, all right, we gotta kick out. So if he reverses my next special, we're dead. Gotta have to hit the heavy on him. Ooh, I gotta reverse this or I'm dead. Perfect! Scorpion Deathlock for the win. Let's go. Oh, we get the pin. It's over. He can't kick out. He can't kick out. Oh my god. I didn't think we would be able to get the pin on that one. All right, sweet, sweet. Wow, we won that with the skin of our teeth, man. Oh my sweet Jesus. That is insane. We got three Sting Gold Drafts as well. Oh man, so we're about to get like 15, maybe even more awesome stuff out of this. Man, that event was a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, let's go to the store and get some more stuff. Uh, we got this, which is crap. I wouldn't be too worried about it. All right, there you go. So put up these three now. So we got Sting up to five again. Nice. Uh, we got six Xavier Woods. And we got six more Stings. I'll take it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first ever WWE Universe video. I'll see you next time, baby.